In this series of videos, we're working through the process of learning all we need to know to become certified as a system administrator in ServiceNow. In this episode, we begin our journey by looking at a list of training courses we will be completing as we prepare for the examination. We will then jump in and complete the first lesson in the ServiceNow Fundamentals Learning Path. Stay with us to the end of the video where we provide you access to the CSA exam specification, which includes a topical study guide and sample questions. Both will prove invaluable tools as we embark on our journey to ServiceNow certification. Hey, it's Jeff Tease here from ServiceNowSimple.com, where we help you understand the ins and outs of ServiceNow, keeping it simple all the way. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, and you can look in the description box below to links to any of the resources we mention in this video. Now, let's get simple with the ServiceNow Fundamentals Learning Path. We're beginning our journey to get certified as a system administrator in ServiceNow. So we know our destination or where we're going to end up. But how do we get there? How do we go about the process of preparing for the certification exam? Fortunately, ServiceNow provides us with a map, and I'm going to take you through that, how to access that now. We're going to start at the ServiceNow homepage. We'll do that now. This is the ServiceNow homepage, and we're going to scroll to the bottom of the homepage into the footer area. Under the Resources tab, you're going to see a link that says Training and Certification. Go ahead and click on that link. Now we're going to scroll down. There's a lot of good information here about, about training and the, the ServiceNow Learning Portal, the different types of certifications you can get. We're going to scroll down now until we can find the card. It's beneath this uh, Turning Knowledge into Business Outcomes section that says Get Certified. Let's go ahead and click on that card. It's going to take us to all of their different certification options. And we are, you can see here, there, there are lots of different specialties you can, you can become certified in. I mentioned many of those in the first video. We've decided that we're going to work towards the system administrator, which is kind of the default uh, place to start when you're looking for certification and service now. So we're going to go to the system administrator card here. And that's going to take us to uh, the, the beginnings of the learning portal where it will tell us specifically what we need to do in order to, to prepare for the certification exam. I'm going to go ahead and close this blue pop here. You can read through this as you'd like. Uh, lots of information here about um, you know, what the role is, uh, the system administrator role is, what sorts of skills are expected. But if you scroll down just a bit more here, you're going to see there's kind of a journey map that they provide to tell us what we need to do in order to prepare for and schedule and complete the certification exam. And you can see the prerequisites that, that exist within this learning path there is only one prerequisite, and that is completion of the ServiceNow Fundamentals course. So that is what we are going to do um, in these, this series of videos. So let's take a look at what the ServiceNow Fundamentals course entails. We have two options when we're, we're, we're preparing to take the ServiceNow Fundamentals course. One option is you can actually take the live, so the live class that's provided by ServiceNow. That would be led by a ServiceNow instructor, a sort of an in-classroom or virtual classroom setting where it's going to be a scheduled three-day in-person um, course taught by a ServiceNow, administrator, ServiceNow instructor. It's expensive. That's $2,400. That's U.S. dollars. The second option is to complete the on-demand learning path. This is a series of 18 self-paced lessons that you can take directly from the ServiceNow Learning Portal. So this is interactive lessons. They're hands-on. They're complete uh, on your own time. They include uh, lots of hands-on activities and simulations that you'll be going through. And if you choose that route, uh, that's $300 um, uh, US dollars. So my plan for this series of, of uh, videos is I have gone ahead and I've enrolled myself in the on-demand uh, ServiceNow Fundamentals Learning Path, and I'll be taking each of the courses and then teaching those courses in video format and then posting those there, those here on this uh, this channel. So if you'd like to enroll yourself and uh, go through the course, I think that would be great. 
but um, I'll be doing that. Uh, and if you um, if you want to just follow along with these videos, my goal is to pull out what's important and then teach it in this series of videos. So let's look at what we're going to be covering in this series of courses uh, that make up ServiceNow Fundamentals and the videos I'll be publishing. Uh, the course it consists of 18 lessons that cover topics including the platform overview, user interface, branding, lists and filters, forms, task management, notifications, reporting, knowledge management, the service catalog, flow designer, virtual agent, system administration and development on the ServiceNow platform. So you can see this is a broad course that covers a wide range of functionality that's provided uh, by ServiceNow. Uh, real quickly, some additional resource or an additional resource that I wanted to uh, to show you is the certified the ServiceNow certified system administrator CSA specification exam specification. This document I wanted to point out and you'll have the link and this I'll, I'll link to the PDF in the description box below. Come take a look at this. This provides a lot of great information about what to expect um, in the CSA exam itself, the purpose of the exam, the audience, the preparation there. That's going to kind of go into what we just covered where we need to complete the ServiceNow Fundamentals course. Um, but the real interesting thing, it, it comes down here under exam scope, where they actually break out topically um, the percentages of questions that come from each of the different topic areas that we're going to be learning about as we go through the ServiceNow Fundamentals course. So that's a real handy tool. I will be um, using this to guide my decisions as I um, take the courses and then pull out what I think is important for you and then create the videos. I'll be using this sort of to help uh, guide me through that process. And then finally, at the end, um, there are some sample questions, which are great. They, they sort of give us a feel for what to expect um, when we actually go take the, the certification exam. I can tell you now, I've looked at these questions. They are difficult right now, uh, but I'm confident that once we complete the, um, the fundamentals course and we get through all of the series of videos, that we will have no problem answering each of these questions. With that, let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at and completing lesson one of the ServiceNow Fundamentals learning path. Lesson one's entitled ServiceNow Fundamentals Introduction. It's a short video. There are two topics and it's going to be very easy for us to complete this one. Uh, the first topic or the first thing the video starts with is a, an, an introduction where we meet the virtual instructors and they welcome us to the course. There is nothing to learn uh, in this topic, uh, nothing that could be asked about on any certification exam, just a welcome to the course. And topic two in this first lesson uh, consists of an overview of the structure, the layout of the course, how the course is going to flow. So again, nothing there, no content uh, that we would need to be uh, concerned about related to certification or learning how ServiceNow works. So. That is it for lesson one. You can mark lesson one as complete, very simple, uh, very concise um, lesson, just introducing uh, the instructors and, and kind of the structure of the course. So lesson one was simple, right? Just the way we like it here at servicenowsimple.com. But I promise you, our next video will get more interesting. In that video, we'll be covering lesson two of the ServiceNow Fundamentals Learning Path. The topics will include the ServiceNow application architecture, applications and workflows, user interfaces, and role-based access and authentication. Also in that video, we'll be introducing another video where we will be walking you through step-by-step -step the process of gaining and setting up your very own instance of ServiceNow. Most of the remaining videos in this series will be hands-on demonstrations working directly in the application. Uh, you'll be able to use your personal instance that we'll set up in that video to follow along and test out everything we're learning in this series of videos. But that's it for this one. Uh, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do so. Then you will get notifications as we add new videos to the channel. We would love to hear your feedback and let us know how we're doing. Please do that. Uh, with the comments tool. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.